Hello everyone, this is Rife bringing you a brand new Let's Play Power Drive for the Super Nintendo. As always, this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Here we go. Uh, this is actually a request. This could be my first request on GameAnyone, so hopefully it goes pretty good. Um, what a request is for my YouTube viewers or who don't know how the request system works on GameAnyone. Someone could put credits, which is in-game, or uh, in-game, huh. <laughs> Uh, like currency almost let's look at the options and they could uh, pretty much pay you to uh, do a game that they request so whatever we're doing one so let's see start game uh, I haven't played this game much I played uh, two races and that was mainly just to make sure it worked and see how smooth it run and it looked good uh, I don't need to change my name what will be PO1 so here we go. What do we want? Do we want a little Mini Cooper or a Fiat Turbo? Let's go with uh, let's go with this one first. Let's go with green. What? Ca oh, there we go. All right. Oh, it's the select button. I was gonna say nothing works. So here we go. Uh, we have a time trial for this race. It's the only thing we could do because. Well, one, we have no money to compete in real races. That's right, you earn money on here to buy new cars and such. So, as you can see, in the top left is our current time. Top right is qualifying time. And uh, so we have to do a lap in a mi under a minute 30. And uh, so the graphics are pretty, you know, decent for, you know, Super Nintendo. It kind of reminds me of a, a more colorful ugh, a more colorful version of Micro Machines. And, uh, you know, unlike Micro Machines, this game is nice and gives you like little turn signals that tells you hey you have a really holy crap sharp turn coming up and uh... micro machines doesn't do that at least the versions that i have played like the sega genesis one and the playstation one i don't think they ever did that so eh, whatever it's actually kinda nice um... it doesn't look like it but your car can actually take damage and in between races you have to pay money to repair it and uh... the more damage you get that uh... can affect your speed your turning and other stuff like that so we beat it in 34 seconds. Qualifying time was a minute and a half, so obviously I just completely dominated. And uh, you get money. So let's see here if I could show you the... Uh, go with a second race. So this one is an actual real race. This is, you know, like, to fix your stuff. So, so repaired everything up, and here we go. And, you know, obviously that puts a drain on your funds so here we go so even though it says qualifying time I don't think that means anything because as far as I could tell you just want to beat the car holy shit you cheated knock me off the goddamn road screw you uh let's go and uh from the little I do know about this game because I did a little bit of research is that I guess back then this was a big thing but uh I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, on Mario Kart and games like that, there's kind of a catch-up option. You know, like, uh, have you ever had it where for some reason, even if you were in first place by a complete, like, holy hell lap or something, someone will barely catch up to you at the end as you cross the finish line of the last lap? It's because, I guess, to make it more challenging or, I guess, easier for the, pl the actual player if you're behind. Damn it, I keep landing in the slow side. Uh... Basically, the game lets you catch up, and this game does not have that, as far as I know. And this game is also, I guess, unique, as this is the only game that I know computers can actually make mistakes. Computers will crash. P computers will do what I've been doing and sliding into the damn sides, into the slow mud part. So here we go. Uh, so here we go. We can catch up. We're on our third final lap, I think. Or is this the second lap? I don't even know, see? I'm guessing, no, no, this is the second lap. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Go here. Do a quick turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the lap counters on the bottom right. See where it says, put player and CPU. That's your. Uh, well, that's what lap you're on. I got lucky on that turn. Yeah. I. Uh, the controls a little weird. Like I mean, it, it's definitely it's definitely playable. Uh, it just kind of feels like steering would be a lot better with an analog stick which you know didn't exist back then but you know uh, it just feels that driving with analog would be a lot better 
uh, you know, when I'm doing a sharp turn, it feels like it's a little uh, too stiff and you're going to overshoot it or undershoot it, you know, trying to correct yourself, but I don't know. All right, next level. Let's repair a little bit of it. Oh, never mind. I'm good on money. See, I, I was I, I didn't want to blow all my funds, but I have like 10 grand now. So, you know, we're obviously making a bank. I'm by myself, so this looks like a time trial. What the hell are those? Oh, headlights. I guess it's supposed to be nighttime. I was gonna say, is that like a an, an obstacle immediately in front of you? You have to swerve around. Whatever. Uh, I have no idea what those things I'm picking up on the road. They look like newspapers from Paperboy. You know, that's another game I could probably do a let's play of. Eh, maybe. Uh, but this isn't Paperboy, damn it. This is Power Drive. So here we go. Uh, the music is actually kind of catchy, you know. It definitely has that 90s feel. So here we go. You know, I know I just bitched about the controls, but I guess they're not too bad. It's just, I, I, I guess you got to get used to them. See, look. look a lot like there, I, I completely undershot my turn because I, I didn't want to be too, uh, like, I don't know, uh, it, it's kind of like when, when you press left and right to turn, it's like your car can only turn in, uh, uh, like, I don't know, 10 degree increments, if that makes sense. There, I, I beat the qualifying time. So it's not like you actually fully steer, it's just when you tap left or right to turn, you move like 10 degrees or something to, you know, in that direction. Okay, uh, Monte Carlo. Alright. Is this all what the game is? Is just actual doing this? Like, from what I know, you could buy cars and stuff. And upgrade your car. Well, maybe not upgrade your cars, but you could buy new cars and enter different circuits and races and stuff, but... I can't seem to find a button that lets me do it, but whatever. We're good. Time to race the blue car again. Oh, what? You're going to bump me again? Oh, you cheating son of a bitch. Maybe that's money on the floor that I'm picking up on the track, the, the, the paper boy stuff. Damn it. Okay, those purple things look like clocks now that I've slowed down enough to look at it. Maybe that lowers your time. God damn it. No! That's gonna cost me money, blue car. He's just ramming in me, and, and all I hear in my head is dollar signs just racking up from him bumping into me. I'm assuming every l actual race is three laps. I don't know. Whoa. That's a tricky turn there, hairpin turn. I want to pick up that clock to see what it does. Alrighty. Oh, I'm almost going to catch up to you, blue car. I don't know if uh, you race more people. Like, if it'll be like a th like three cars or four cars. Maybe it's just one-on-one. -on -one, I don't know. Oh god, I'm completely staring out of control, and that'll probably be a problem later on in the uh, in the later races. I could already tell where, you know, you really want to like correct your movement, but you know, you you don't want to overdo it. There we go. Ah, oh come on, and I still miss the damn clock. Uh, I don't think you guys could actually tell, but like I uh, I definitely feel slower now. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a dummy. I don't know. But it definitely kind of feels like I'm slower. Probably from the damage I'm taking. But again, maybe I'm wrong. And I'm just imagining it. Okay. Uh, this definitely seems like a game that rewards you for lear definitely learning the controls. Like this isn't just a... Whatever. Ah, oh, damn. We still got one more lap. Okay, I'm assuming you have to beat the uh, computer and get under qualifying time. Like, I guess just in case the computer is slow, I don't know.
All right, well, at least I'm not playing catch up anymore. I, I'm just trying to desperately not crash into anything. All right, go this way, and then it turns, and then we, we make a right turn. All right, guess a left on the screen. You know, if you're looking at the screen. Oh God, don't slow down, please. Whoa, I think that end thing is a speed boost. I don't know. Well, we won. All right. Let's try to figure out if there's. Oops, my bad. I apologize. Oops, sorry. I'm playing with my save state stuff. I want to see if there's like a menu option you could pull up. Oh, there we go, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I took a ton of damage in that race. Shock damage. Yep, there, there definitely goes... I apologize. A lot of that. And this isn't a game where I'm gonna, I'm gonna need safe states and oh, never mind. I guess I'm doing the next race. Whatever. Is this what the computer does at the start of every race? Try to ram your ass off the road? Okay, I guess we're in a desert or Africa or something. I only suggest Africa because those trees remind me of Lion King. Oh. I miss the mountain tracks now, already. Okay, well that N is definitely a speed boost. Maybe it's nitrous. Maybe that's what it's supposed to mean. I don't know. Oh, you son of a bitch! Okay, the timer or the clock looks like it stops your actual time. So I guess maybe you can make more money uh, the faster you go. I, I don't know, or maybe I guess if. It's a really tight race and you're fighting for time and you desperately need to, uh, you know, beat the qualifying time. Then I, I can imagine how that plays a part. But it seems like a pretty decent game. Like I said, I, I just, my only complaint is the control, but that's probably just like, you know, I need to get used to it. Like I'm so used to like, if I played something like this, that it playing with an analog or I don't know maybe I'm just spoiled by modern day stuff where I <laughs> I'm used to playing like that especially for racing games alright oh where is that computer uh oh I might lose and if I do do lose that just means I'll restart the race because one of the requirements of this request is to win every race and I don't, well I guess we could also see if uh, the game even lets you continue when you lose a race. Maybe you just have to keep playing till you win. He hasn't crossed the line yet. Okay, damn, I, I was so close behind him. Oh well, now we get to see what happens, at least. You finish second. Uh... Oh, whatever. I'm going to reload it. Okay, so this is right before I did the race, so let's quickly run through the race again now that I know what the track is, and then we'll call it a video after this race. Hey, it's a different car. It's a Mini Cooper now. Screw you. Oh, uh, see. I, see, I like the Mini Cooper guy. He didn't try to shove me off the road. Oh, ho. Oh, come on, I ran right over the end. I'll just call it nitrous. It, it might honestly be called something else, but I'll call it that just because that makes sense. Car speed boost with that. Or at least a need for speed, Fast and Furious World. Here we go. I, I, I don't know. It might honestly just be me, but... It definitely feels that uh, driving on the dirt is a lot harder than driving on like the actual track that I did before, like on the other levels. Uh, and I guess I was right that this is Africa because it says we're in Kenya. But uh, 
like I said, maybe it's just my imagination, but control is definitely a little uh, slipperier, slippery on this uh, track. More slippy, slipperier. It is more slippy. We'll go with that. Slippery, slippy, whatever. There we go. We got it. We're in the groove now. Uh, this is definitely a way tougher track. I can imagine the rest of the uh, uh, Kenyan levels being like this, like a windy maze with a straightaway to you know get top speed again, and then you just gotta turn a bunch more. Uh oh! No! 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 That was a much better run. If I do say so myself. Sweet. Well, I guess I can use save states for that one. And if I've taken a break in between games to fulfill the request of win every race. So, you know, hey, there we go. First place. Looks like they have passwords too. So that's pretty cool too. All right. Well, we'll call that a video and uh, stay tuned for episode two of Power Drive. Thanks for watching.